Last night, the Dodgers won the World Series. Congratulations to them. Which, you heard a few things about that. Like, it's Magic Johnson's 10th ring of any type as an owner and a player. And you also heard that this is the first time in 32 years that the Dodgers have won a World Series. Which, that basically leaves the Indians, Lions, and a couple other teams as the only ones left that need to break a little schneid. But... There's a there's part of the news that doesn't really get brought up right now. And I'm going to bring it up tonight. Blake Snell had an amazing game for the, for the Tampa Bay Rays. Amazing game. He was going crazy. He probably would have forced the game seven if they let him stick. But you know what happened? They took him out. And all of it was based off of an idea of analytics. That we will, we take him out to six innings and then he'll be ready for game seven. And he can be, it was just kind of like what the Cubs did. What the Cubs did in 2016 and what other teams did in Houston did in 17. That's what they all do now. Take him out early and then leave him in, you know, whatever it takes. See, we've had this whole situation these past few years, analytics and next-gen stats for any of these sports. You remember in baseball, it used to be home runs, RBIs, and uh, batting average right on that screen. Now it's home runs, RBIs, batting average, OPG, war, wins, and above replacement, and 10,000 other things. I mean, we see in so much now. We're seeing so much now on the screen. So many stats that get people. And it can drive people nuts. And I'm not going against the next-gen stats. I'm not going against analytics. But what I'm saying is we can outsmart ourselves using those. All you really had to do is let Snell finish the game. Because he wasn't getting hit off of. This wasn't going to happen. That's all you had to do. Instead, you blew your World Series chance because you played analytics. To me, it's no different from Matt Nagy. Every single time he throws a jet sweep on third and one, especially to Cordero Patterson, it's no different. You, over, you outthink yourself. All you have to do in that situation could be it could be a simple half back up the middle. It could be a full back up the middle. That's all you really need to do. Coaches, managers, and everybody completely outthink themselves all the time because of these analytics. They use this in their head. Okay, what's what we'll do next? I'm gonna I'm gonna outthink that manager, I'm gonna outthink that coach. Or we're gonna use all these stats in our heads. But you want to know what happened? Every bit of those stats and analytics and everything pretty much brought out a cheating scandal in baseball. It brought it out for the Astros. And it forced them to hire quite possibly the least new school guy you can possibly get with Dusty Baker. A guy who's going to leave you in in the eighth inning. A guy who gr who was grinding, who had gr who grinded everything, who had a lot of grit. He believes in finishing games, no matter what the fans say, and no matter how much the fans complain. Pitch it out. He grew up in the day where Nolan Ryan threw 180 pitches. Now you can't do that anymore because different day. But he grew up in those days. So same with the Jack McKeon back in the time for the Florida Marlins. They all grew up in that day. And which one is right? Let's ask yourself, okay, I brought Matt Nagy. Which one is right, Mike Dicka or Matt Nagy? Mike Dicka could not coach in this era anymore. But at the same time, hypothetically, just give it that one shot. He goes onto that sideline. Third one, what do you think he's going to do? Everybody knows this. 
And that's why he averaged about 39 minutes in time of possession every single game. That's why. That's why they won 115 games with him. He wasn't an gen offensive genius. He wasn't creative. Mike Dicker wasn't that. But he knew what he was, and he was his... He was what he was. He was unapologetic about it. He wasn't trying to outsmart anybody. He just wanted to win football games. It was a simple, to the point deal. And it's up for debate the, between the new school fans and the old school fans what's better, the over overanalyzed game or simple and direct. That's going to be. That's probably going to be a debate for the rest of our lives. At least my generation, at least yours, anything like that. Because we can get called boomer. We can get called old school. We can get called old man, old woman, any of those. But all I can say is this. In old school, there is no thought. Of There's no thought of cheating and you know exactly where you stand.